back in my early days of my career, uh, there was, next to my operation was a parts fabrication shop. And they manufactured parts for the assembly plants within Burroughs Corporation. And it was all internal demand. It wasn't external demand. And the fellow managed the shop by keep, uh, dominated the management team by keeping all the information to himself. And as a result, the shop got into serious uh, trouble. And because he didn't have the whole team working on the shop, it wasn't a productive environment. You have to create an environment where these best people who have integrity can prosper, and that's your job as a manager to create that environment. So magically, out of the blue, uh, they fired him, and they asked me to run the shop. And what we saw in the shop was a cost per produced hour of $44. <coughs> now, at 44 bucks back, and this is in the late 70s, uh, Back in those days, uh, 44 bucks an hour was fairly expensive. And as a result, the assembly uh, factories were beginning to look outside of my fab shop to buy their parts because they can get them cheaper. Uh, so we obviously had to do something about this. Now, this is, these are the various elements of cost. includes utilities, corporate allocation, uh, material, Scott material, uh, downtime, uh, machine repair, all the different elements that are, make up the total cost allocated over the hours that we were producing. The large one was wages. So we had to attack that. So when I took over, obviously the first thing in our strategy was to come up with a way to uh, reduce our cost per hour. And we were coming up with some pretty good ideas, but it was 25 cents here. 50 cents there, all good ideas, but we weren't going to get to where we had to be. We had to be in the low 30s to be competitive. So we weren't, weren't getting there. Uh, so I decided to take a different tact and change the environment in which we were operating. Instead of keeping information close at hand between myself and my trusted staff, we brought all the employees in and included them on every aspect of this cost let them understand what the goal was, and that was the low $30 an hour. And um, so and then that, that included the machinists, who were UAW and Teamsters. So now I have, in a large uh, cafeteria, I, I didn't have PowerPoint or even Harvard graphics in those days, so I had to write a big piece of paper and put this chart up there. And I had listed in all the different costs per hour, and this being wages. And then I pointed out to them why this was critical to change because it meant their jobs. Uh, ultimately, we were going to disappear. Now, nine months forward, <coughs> we were going to go into UAW negotiations, contract negotiations for the Detroit area. We had about 8,000 employees. I had about 500. So. We were not going to control those negotiations. But I told them that what it's going to be focused on was going to be this number, and that is their wages. Now, the company's going to try to push that down. UAW is going to try to push that up. But that was almost irrelevant to our survival because that was what we had to tackle. So I asked all of them to get involved and find out find ways to chip away at all these things uh, and this will be held, this will be controlled by people that are outside our control. By involving everybody in that process, uh, we got lots more ideas. We were able to capture a lot more ideas and we ended up with a cost per hour of 32 bucks an hour. Uh, wages kept the same. I mean, the contract, they went on strike for a couple of weeks. Nothing changed, uh, which, had, which was the way it was in the last three or four contracts. Nothing ever changes. But the overhead cost per hour had changed. Once we achieved this, we then could go outside, the, uh, outside our captive base, which were other boroughs, assembly plants, and get work in from other companies, uh, external work. And that additional work diluted our fixed expense, and we ended up 
with a cost per hour of $27 an hour. Because we, we had this cost structure, but we brought more work in, so it uh, limited the uh, fixed expenses. And the fact, and the, and the fab shop survived, and I got a big promotion, and everybody was happy. But the way we got there was we included everybody, and we created an environment that they knew as much as we knew. And everybody has the same motivation, and that is success, and this is what we got. It was way beyond anything that we had uh, envisioned. So our strategy before was get costs down and get work from the outside. And that was a good strategy, simple strategy, but it was useless unless you found a way to execute. And we found a way to execute by bringing everybody involved into the process. 